Uh, next week I'll be at South by Southwest. And oh, jealous. That's one I, of the I things. I applied for Bitter Pill to go there, and I never heard anything from them. They took my money, though. Okay. Well, we'll work on them. Yeah, whatever. No, no. We should work on them. No, I want them to come after me. I'm done applying to these stupid uh-huh. things. Yeah, yeah. You know, because you give them money, and then oh, they don't I give you any feedback. They don't give you nothing. Like, I gave yep. you money, bro. Yep. Like, give me something. Interesting. Yep. Give me something. Say, you know what? Here's you why we didn't choose yeah. you. You yeah. know, even just like a simple reason, like, you're not good enough. I'll ask them. Yeah. I mean, I, I like I, yeah. I have enough contacts there yeah. that I could I could be like, hey, you know, by the way, yeah. I am in that band. Because we rock every room we go into. It is true. It is true. You know, and when I say rock, I mean like we we demand attention when we want when we, we do. play, and we put on a show, and we expect you to have fun. And if you don't, we expect you not to like us, and we want you to leave. Right. <laughs> we we want a reaction out of you yeah. one way or another. Yeah. That, I, yeah. That's okay. Yeah. And, and maybe that's snobby or whatever, but like, I'm just done giving these people money. It's like paying to play, you know, like. I don't think that's, I don't, I mean that the, the application fee. Application I, I th- fee. I think, well, I think it's a you gate, know? I think it's a gatekeeping exercise. It's relatively it's inexpensive. Making, it's yes. But when you have no, 5,000 bands applying, you know, $35 times 5,000. Yep. But that's, that's if they charge nothing, they would have 50,000 bands applying. Would they though? Yeah, I they, think so. I like I I because I've been in scenarios where purely speculation. It, it is speculation, yep. but but having so, having to put some amount of money, some amount of effort, some sort of well, it you takes know, effort to put together an EPK I, and I understand uh, you know it and to actually put something really good together. Yep, you know, um, you don't need thirty five bucks or a hundred bucks or whatever. Or whatever yeah, it yeah, costs. yeah. No, it that money is nominal. I, I think. I mean, it's thirty five bucks. It's not. It's, it's not three hundred and fifty. No, but it's the point. Right. The point of it is, and I, I, be, I bet you they think that like, oh, we're only charging thirty five dollars, but we're gonna make a crap ton of money on this. We could charge this, but we might get a lot of a hard time for that. But we'll charge a little. Like, I'm just yeah. saying. Like, maybe. Yeah. Like, like, yeah. I wonder how many bands they have. I'm gonna ask them because yeah. if you're right, if it's five thousand bands, that's one hundred and seventy five k. Even if it's I, I'm not doing public math. I'm letting my right. computer do it. Uh, <laughs> even if it's like a thousand, because they have yeah. to get at least a thousand. I mean, it's huge. Oh, oh, from absolutely. From all over the world. You but know? that's what that's what I love about South by is I, you know, there's bands that I've either been told about or or that I right. recognize that I will make an effort to go see, and then I find all the power pop bands, right? And I put those <laughs> on my schedule. Well. I, there, there's a there's a oh, method to I this love madness. Power pop. No, no, no. Well, there, wrong. there's yeah. that. I yeah. mean, you're going to get good, like crunchy guitars yeah. and harmonies. Yeah. So, like, mm-hmm. there's a formula there. Mm-hmm. Every band plays 40 minutes at South by. Right. Even an awful band, like it, I don't want to say an awful band. Even a band that plays music that I would not otherwise choose to listen to. It doesn't mean that they're awful <laughs> so to nice. everyone. Well, it's <laughs> yeah. me. If, it, no, if it's no, awful right. to me, yep. doesn't mean yep. that they're awful. Yep. It's not an objective thing. Even if subjectively I think they're awful, right? They're out there delivering, in their mind, the best forty minutes of material they can. They traveled from who knows where to get right, there, right? right? Like they've got, for a lot of them, their entire lives in their minds, right. riding on this, this thing, forty minutes. Right. That's I just, energetic, I wanna, right? I just want to play. I don't. Yeah. To me, it's just another gig. It's, a, it's awesome. another gig. It'd Correct. be a vacation for us. We Correct. don't make any money. No. Because we make money when we play. We don't lose money. Well, and you like know? you can make money not playing, playing yeah, the, yeah, the yeah, tour yeah. down and yeah. back. Yeah, yes, sure. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and the smart bands do. But, I just don't think we're commercial enough in their eyes. Oh. Well, now they're- That's the interesting. Industry. No, yeah, no the I had not industry, they're very- I'm not disagreeing with you. Yeah, they're very tunnel vision. And they. And this is, music industry has always been this way. These, you know, uh, these- Dudes with cigars sitting in in their offices, thinking that they understand uh, music trends and and whatnot, and they always miss out. That's not you know. There's not that at South by like, but they're let, there. But I, it, yes, isn't that the point of the thing? Isn't it a commercial thing? Maybe it, I'm it was wrong. like like there are bands that have been discovered at South by. The, the, oh, the, yeah. the famous story is Hanson, the sure. brothers, right? They had they did not get a showcase, right? They set up acoustic in the lobby of a yeah. hotel yeah, and that sang. Happens all the time. And, yeah. and you know, I think it was yeah. at the Driscoll Hotel. But um, Sturgill, Sturgill uh, uh, Simpson, Simpson yeah. wasn't invited to the Country Music Awards one year. Okay. And so he stood out front with his guitar and busked the entire time. <laughs> 
Why not? Yeah. And he wasn't a huge name at that point. No. But he was selling a lot of records. Yeah. And for some reason, that, like, it's, you know, it's everything's so commercialized that you kind of lose vision on uh, something that's unique and interesting. I, but I, that's you know? what I'm saying is I find that there are showcases which contain bands that yeah. are like that, that, that would have zero commercial appeal sure. in, in my estimation. Maybe I'm wrong then. I, well, it just seems so commercialized to me. Yeah. I, I would love to be commercialized. Yes, of course. <laughs> I will sell out. Yeah. I'll sell out every seat. Yep. I have no issue with that. No, that's the point. And, and right. Uh, maybe it's, I don't know. Bitterness. Hmm. Bitter pill. Bitter pill. Yeah. Huh. But no, no. So, so I'm looking forward to South by the, the, there's the bands that I know that are, right. I'm going to try and see, but what I really like are the serendipitous, you know, yeah. I, I'm, I'm going to see a band at, at 10 PM. And so I get there and I watch the nine o'clock band and sure. that becomes my, my, you know, favorite discovery of the week. Or like one year I wound up somebody text a friend of mine who had a business that was related to Mac observer. So like not South by music related at all, right. but he was there for his thing. And he texted me, it was like 1130 at night. And he's like, Hey, if you're not doing anything, come down to the Driscoll. There's somebody I want you to meet. I'm like, okay, sure. So I go down to the Driscoll hotel and it's haunted and uh, right on sixth street. Yep. And uh, I spent the next two and a half hours with this guy and Kim Fowley. Awesome. The manager, the former yeah, manager yeah. of the runways. Yeah. yeah. It, he was a weird dude. You, I'm friends with, um, uh, um, what's her name? Cherry. Oh yeah. 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 Not close friends, but we're friends on Facebook. Yeah. I don't think she we and met, Kim, I don't think she online. and Kim were friends at the time yeah. I, I saw um, Kim. She's a trip, man. I bet. She is a trip. I bet. Yeah. She made, she does, uh, uh, sculptures, wood sculptures with chainsaws. Oh, all right. <laughs> All right. Like everything you would expect, really. Yes, right. Yes. <laughs> you know, next year, I should go with you. Okay. Just as a as a as a music fan. Yes. As a former resident of Austin. Uh, you lived in Austin lived too. In Austin, yeah, we yeah. both lived in Austin. Yep. When yeah. were well, I was there? Nineteen ninety nine. So you were there when I was there. Yeah. We were there ninety five to. I lived just over the bridge, uh, South from Austin downtown. Yeah. Just o- like. Literally walk over the bridge and there's downtown. Like South Congress? Yep. Oh, yeah. Yep. So not not too far from like the Continental Club and things like yep. that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Probably between the Continental and downtown, but the way you're describing it. Yeah, I was right on the river. Right, lived, okay, yeah. I lived at a, a, a day's in. Yeah. Oh, I know where, yeah, yeah. I know where those. Yeah, okay. Yeah. 